Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Philippine Adventures. Today's subject is going to be hmm, facts of life coming to the Philippines. Rose colored glasses. Now it's, we're going to talk today uh, the truth. The truth will hurt in some cases. Shout out goes to uh, Paul Old Dog New Tricks uh, in, a, in the hospital. I'm not sure if he's out or not. I uh, watched a video yesterday with Mr. Bud Brown. Mentioned it, and I understand Mr. Bud may be leaving in a year or so. So I'll shout out to Mr. Bud Brown. Congratulations for going to back to USA to visit and stay with his kids. And may end up back living in Mexico, where he was living at one time for a couple of years. Uh, you know, uh, we all know what's going on right now. Th you know, I, I want to actually... I tell you guys a couple things. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Philippines has changed quite a bit in the last uh, two years because of the COVID. The honey badger has actually affected the Philippines quite a bit. And what I mean by that, the infrastructure itself, uh, the infrastructure itself, and it's not what it was three years ago. It's just not caught up with the demand and what's going on. Reason I'm saying this is this. They're in a build, 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 build mode, just like the US is build, build, build highways and doing the things that they did. Well, in the building mode, what's happening, they're rebuilding and then they're retearing the roads back up and rebuilding over the ones they just did uh, so they can maintain and get the people working and keep people occupied and keep people busy so they don't go into other turmoils and things like that. And that's fantastic. And it's great and it's great ideas. But what it is I'm saying here is when you come to the Philippines, expect Unless you're, uh, unless you're doing a service-oriented company, like say for instance, if I have somebody come clean my aircon, it's ten bucks. If I have somebody repair my aircon, it's ten bucks. If I have uh, go get an attorney to write a letter for me, a service business, uh, my mechanic, things like that, it's going to be really inexpensive. But I do want to tell you guys the honest truth of what's going on right now here in the Philippines. Electricity is increased again. So we're actually looking at, right now we're paying, uh, uh, well, last month I paid 40, uh, 40, 39 cents a kilowatt hour for my electricity. Now I'm paying 43 cents a kilowatt hour. Use the same kilowatt hours always have been. It doesn't vary. It varies maybe on the high side, two, three, four, five kilowatt hours difference every month. It doesn't, it doesn't matter very much. Kilowatt hours are the same for me every month. Three, four, five, ten kilowatt hours, maybe it might change. And that depends on the electric company going and turn off the power on, turn off the power for a day, two days, and then coming back on power like that. And so that's what's fluctuating in the kilowatt hours. Now, uh, that's increased considerably. Uh, the dentist that we're going to is so much cheaper than it is in the U.S., but they have increased their prices almost triple to what they were doing triple now you can go get a teeth pulled before it cost you uh five dollars ten dollars now it's almost 50 bucks to remove a tooth where i'm at uh it's something we ruth we ended up going to two three different dentists and found one uh that she really liked and he ended up charging uh ten dollars a tooth instead of the uh 30 40 50 bucks a tooth and when she had her teeth done now, this guy is really inexpensive, so it being a service type business, he's inexpensive. She had a top plate and bottom plate bought, and we paid $150 for it. So those were easy to go for thousands of dollars in U.S. So I'm in Cebu. My friend had his done as $300. That's really inexpensive. They won't look in your mouth in U.S. under $300. So $300 just gets them to get you sit in their chair. Well, what I want to talk about is Prices of groceries have increased. Prices of fuel, the packaging, the bags, and things like that. Fuel has actually increased uh, considerably. It's gone up at least four peso. So we're actually seeing things, the trend going. Now, it's happening all over the world. It's not just here. And it's happening all over the place. Uh, rental apartments are still cheap, considering, you know, $100, $150, $200. But in the big rural, big areas in the city, 
in the cities, now they've increased their rents considerably. We were uh, talking to someone the other day that has and owns apartments in Davo, and they rent them out, and they were renting them out when I first came here. They were for $100 a month. Then the guy, he told me he went up to $200 a month. And uh, now he's getting $500 a month. Well, honestly, in, in Davo, honestly, you can rent an apartment for that. I checked online. You can rent an apartment like that depending on where you want to live. Daytona, same. You can rent an apartment like that in DeLand, same. And you can rent an apartment like that in uh, Lake Mary, Altamont Springs, same price, $500, $550, depending. They do have them for $650. Uh, for the big studios, seven fifty like that and up. It's up there in U.S. First last security deposit here. Uh, it's first last security deposit also. Uh, even on when we uh, bought, uh, did our house, uh, it cost me two hundred dollars to get in a house one time. It's fifty dollars a month rental, but that's okay. You expect that. You expect people, and I don't want them to charge me. It's okay. I got my money back because I paid my bills and did that. But uh, as far as things being rosy here. It's great and fantastic and wonderful, but I'm just telling people, be prepared. You may be going culture shock with the money. Your money won't go as far as it did six months ago or a year ago. It will not go as far. My, I'll do a, a intro uh, onto my money as far as what I'm cost of spending. My expenditures have increased because groceries. I bought $100 two weeks ago, spent $60 yesterday, and I need to go spend another $100. Now, if you remember, my uh, wa uh, all that's always about 140 bucks. Now, where I'm, look what I've spent. So it's $260 so far, and we're still slacking groceries. I mean, we still gotta buy some more milk, we gotta buy some more oatmeal. There's no cans in the house. I mean, these are just, you know, detergent and Tide and that stuff is a thousand pages, 20 bucks. Coffee is twenty dollars for a can of coffee. A juice, just if you want standard Del Monte juice, just a small container of juice. It's, it's about this big and it stands about that tall. It's like uh, four hundred peso. So you can kind of see that things have increased so much that uh, it's very costly. And I know why some of the vloggers are telling me they're leaving because things have gone up so much. Now it's not as if you're living the Western lifestyle. It's not that. You're just living a normal lifestyle, trying to survive. I mean, aircon is that Western? Uh, yeah, okay, it is. Other than that, eat food. I mean, Filipino eats, drinks Del Monte. Filipino likes Heinz ketchup. Filipino likes all the stuff that they have. It's the same as we have. They were introduced with that product years ago. But I've noticed that be prepared, and you are going to get a culture shock, that it's not going to be as simple and uncostly that it might you might think it be. It still may run you $1,000, $1,200, $1,500 a month. In that case, in that instance, can you live in the U.S. for that? Probably not. But still, your internet is going to cost you anywhere from 20 to 50 bucks a month, or it's more than that. And if you're smart, you'll have two internets. Well, that's still going to get you. I'm paying $100 a month in internets. I looked at the... Uh, I looked at other internets out there. They're more expensive than that. So when that happens, if and when we come to the U.S., I have to be prepared to not only buy a car or get some type of uh, rooms and, and hotel for uh, you know a week or two till we figure out what we're going to do, but have it all planned accordingly. But here's something here that uh, I even talked to the attorney about. He has some apartments in town, and he's increased his prices on those. So... Things have increased considerably. The reason why they're increasing is, is because they might see value coming. Their tourists are coming in, very small. It's not as many as they thought they were going to be. Uh, the tourism itself is, I don't even see anybody. I don't see anybody that's a foreigner here where I'm at, except the people that's been living here like me for the last six, seven years. So I don't see anybody that. But I do see them. I hear them getting emails. I'm leaving. I'm going back. Paul, Paul W., the guy I was talking to the other day that had his girlfriend, he's marrying this 18-year-old. Um, he's going to grab her. He's going to marry her. They're going back to the U.S. So I tell you, be prepared for lifestyle on that. Or would you help him? He's crying. Um, I'm thinking that a lot of times, and that's I told him good for him. Uh, he's wanting to take her away from the family, take her away from her environment. I said, uh, you might get some blowback from U.S. He says, well, I don't care. He says, I... 
I, I can I have property we can be fine it doesn't have to worry about that I'm not I'm not uh, I guess the family is nice and helping, but he just kind of wants not be on top of the family. Because there they are right now is there's a house, a house, a house, a house, a house, a house, then a house, a house, a house, a house. And there's so many family members. They're over every day. He's over there. They're over there. And so, you know, everybody's together all the time. So he said, I can't, I can't deal with that. So that's one of the reasons. That is the reason he's moving back. No other reason than that. Can he afford it here? Yes. But I'm just saying, you know, I, I bought this body wash the other day. It's just a palm olive a body wash. You know, how much you would think that this would cost? Dollar? Two dollars? Three dollars? Four dollars? Five dollars? How much you think? Just a standard thing like this, right? You probably buy it in the U.S. A uh, buck, two bucks, right? Maybe buck, two bucks and change. That right here, right now, it's, it's like seven dollars for this. So, you're going to see prices increase considerably. We, uh, Ruth, we buy chickens at five bucks. Five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. But well, they're only this big. You know, the chickens are only this big, five bucks. So uh, somebody said that they're going to go up price. Don't know. Uh, do I care? Yes, I care because I eat chicken. Uh, so I've been eating more fish now than I ever have because fish is still, uh, you know, $2 a kilo, for a kilo. So I get two pounds of fish for $2. And I can't beat that. So I've been eating, we've been eating a lot of fish lately. Not because I'm struggling or anything like that. It's just that it's just what it is right now. I'm not paying no three dollars for a can of uh, of uh, Sarkis tuna. You know, it's just I'm not going to do it. It's uh, it's the most ridiculous thing I ever heard in my life. We went to Robinson's uh, the other day. No beef. We went to town yesterday and went shopping. No beef. No beef. Plenty of pork. Plenty of chicken, but no beef. The pork is very gassy, of course, and the chicken is very gassy, so I did not buy any chicken or pork yesterday. So we probably have to find chicken or pork somewhere else. Maybe even at the fresh market, it's uh, very gassy. But the fighting, uh, as uh, Claude and I talked about that, so even Claude says it's a problem, it's one of the main reasons uh, he's thinking about going back to is because the food situation has really got him strawed, and there's other issues, uh, but uh, he's going back for whatever reason, but I know that for me, um, a food can be a problem for that. Uh, but I wanted to talk about this to the guys. Be prepared, bring extra money. I'll be prepared that things may not be what it is. You're going by a wood, wood is almost irrelevant now. You, so you almost cannot find it. If you do find wood, you're gonna be paying premium dollars. So you have to get steel. You know, concrete's $5 a bag. And they were thinking about talking about going up. Now this concrete is nothing in it but concrete. You have to put your premix in your the rock in, and that that has gone up now. A truckload of that is like eighty bucks. And it used to be when I used to first came here, it was twenty bucks, twenty five bucks. So I want to talk about this today because people are asking me, and I thought I'd kind of get it out on my chest today that it's uh, things are going up in prices uh, considerably where I live. Okay, where I live, not anywhere else. Where I live. I don't know anything about where people live up there or anywhere else. I just know where I live. It's, it's, it's getting a little price where I'm at. I know that down in Duma, I have a friend that's a vlogger down there. And he was telling me that even Duma has gotten so expensive on stuff. They're thinking about moving up to Cebu and going down to Oslo, or one of the islands down there or off down in southern Cebu and live down there. Because Duma is just so uh, expensive where he's at. And that's what he was telling me. I don't know if it's true or not. <clears throat> I mean, they lives down in Duma. Maybe they could tell me. But uh, he was saying it's very expensive and it's really gotten out of sight, out of hand. Thank you so much for watching. I've been jabbering for 13 minutes. Thank you so much for always coming on our videos. And thank you so much, guys, for coming on Ruth's stream today. She did a quick stream. And it was a good stream today. And she did a good stream on her channel today. And I want to thank all my loyal subscribers. And thank you so much. God bless everybody. I'll see you guys next time.